sky high. Bishop gloves it. I'm Jonah Javad here now with Stars goalie Ben Bishop. Big Ben's announced his presence. When was the last time you were on the ice? Last time we were on the ice was the day before the season got canceled. Yeah, we haven't been on the ice since, so we're going on a month now, and it obviously it stinks a little bit, but you have to put it in perspective as far as you know where we are right now is in the world, and hockey's on the back back burner. Um, there's a lot more important things, and when we get the green light and the, the world health officials you know agree that it's safe to play, and and us as players agree that it's safe to play, then we'll we'll get back out there. What are those discussions like? What's the latest you've heard in terms of, of the schedule and how you're preparing uh, for when that time comes? Well, we've had some league calls and everybody can speculate and try to you know think of when the season might start. But I, I mean, the real answer is nobody knows. And I think everybody has a pretty good idea that it wouldn't be for at least you know a couple months. But we'll need a couple a week or so once once the season gets back going to you know get back on the ice and get our our feet under us. For me, it usually takes two weeks to where I feel good again. Normally, when you get back on the ice that first week, you, you sit there and you can't believe you get paid to do it because you barely could skate. And then the next week, it starts coming back. And then by that third week, you feel good again. So it's always pretty funny those first couple of times you skate after taking a few months off, but it comes back pretty quick. Where is everybody spread out uh, right now? You know, Rads and Garyanov and Doby, they went back right away. You know, back to Russia, all the Finns are now are back in Finland. Roman and uh, Fax here in Czech. And then a couple guys are back up to Toronto. And Cogs is in, you know, British Columbia. Segi was in the Bahamas there for a bit, but he's back. So uh, Jamie's in town. Uh, Como's in town. So there's still a few guys still in Dallas, but everybody's slowly, you know, migrating back home. What are maybe some positives in your life that you may be able to kind of reframe during this time off? Our two-year-old son is uh, keeping us real busy. You have a whole new respect for your mother and wife and uh, being home with the kid all day. It's a, whole, it's a job that's definitely a lot harder than, than it looks. So, um, no, it's nice to be home with you know, your wife and your kid. You normally, you're on the road and you know, these 10-day road trips we take with a wife's home with them you know, all day, it's, it definitely can be pretty strenuous. And, you know, my mother was, you know, mother of four and she was also a nurse. So, you know, obviously the doctors and nurses at this time, uh, you know, they're obviously the heroes. So we watch the news every day. It's not necessarily the most exciting thing to turn on and watch, but uh, you definitely want to stay informed. and kind of goes back to the, you know, the nurses and the doctors and you know, the essential workers right now, even the people at the grocery store working because without them, you know, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing.